Happy Sunday. Needing a clear enemy. You have people, you know, who choose to be in conflict. We need a clear enemy to focus on. If we don't have a clear enemy to focus on, what does that leave us with? It leaves us with ourselves. I love the idea that, or even, I, it's, I don't even think it's an idea. It's just the statement that it's an inside job. The good news is it's an inside job. The bad news is it's an inside job. We are reflections of one another. We create and we see our own flaws in other people. And when we need a clear enemy, that also takes the, that takes the focus off of our own problems and projects it or highlights it in another person. And they or that or the situation, the problem is the problem. It can't be me. That is huge in, in surmounting any difficulty within my life. And not that I'm my own enemy, but I am, for the most part, my biggest problem. What am I not willing to let go of? What am I unwilling to see? Whether it's for my own protection, or my own obstinance, or my own denial, all of those things are true on different levels at different times. I'm not willing to look at certain things because it's too painful at certain times. I'm not willing to let go of certain bad traits because it's too painful at certain times. And the, the same time that it's painful, those may be seemingly negative or very negative aspects of myself are saving me too. I mean, that's been my story years ago. I mean, Drugs and alcohol were destroying me from a very early age, but they saved my life at the same time. That was my enemy, but it was not my enemy then. That was my best friend. They were my best friend. They saved my life on many levels. And then as I grew older, that became my enemy. And I wasn't able or willing to do anything about it for a number of years. So whether it's your neighbor across the street or a country somewhere else. What is it within ourselves that we are not willing to look at or let go of or grow out of? The idea that we are so similar that we're the same or that we share everything, we share this world, this universe, this breath, similar makeups in our bodies, is too difficult for many people to wrap their head around. They don't want to. That would Bigotry and hatred would not exist if they knew the truth or if we understood the truth of ourselves. Why would I hurt you if I knew it? In, in, intuitively, instinctually, and physically that it hurt me? I wouldn't. Or, <laughs> or maybe I would. Um, because of that twisted sense of whatever we are. Yeah. So... the enemy within or the ally within, how do we frame that story? How do we advocate for ourselves, parent ourselves, grow through any challenging, difficulty, circumstance, person, situation, anything? Love and service. Love and service. Trust God, help others. Clean house, trust God, help others. Boom. Whatever you think God is, universe, source, love. Trust love, help others. Clean house. Much love.